Sure. Takes her down to the mat. Look at the stomping on the hair. Look at this. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, setting up, and this is wow. She's this is a patented move by Dan. Oh, and look at it. Yank the hair right out of the roots. <laughs> There's nothing fancy about that. Upside Again, over. a handful of hair. Referee Dave Linton has got to get in there. There's a cover one. Just barely a two count for Miss Dania. Yeah, and I'm glad because Dave, frankly, I don't want this match to end. I, I, all we need to see is a series of two counts, series of roll-ups and reversals and tie-ups and, and bridges and all sorts of... Fans behind Kelly, look at this. She got a backslide on Dania. One, two. Dania rolled out just in time. And, oh! Wow. It's Kelly with an incredible forearm right to the face. There's a cover one. Just devastating there. Miss Danny all over Kelly Couture. I, you know, I realized she was a lover, but she doesn't have to be jealous about my relationship with Kelly. Just give it a rest. Just just give it a rest. Handful of hair. Again, the referee's got to stop this. Miss Danya resorting to awful tactics to try to beat Kelly Couture. This is a wrestling match after all. Kelly now, Irish whip into the ropes. Big clothesline, down goes Dania. Looking for another one, and down she goes again. Kelly in control of the situation. Ducks underneath. Going a beautiful swinging neck breaker out of nowhere. Kelly with a cover, hooks the leg. Two. Wow, Dania with the presence of mind to kick out of that. Thank God she did. What an incredible fast paced match. This is a Dania again with that forearm. Wow, I you're absolutely right, Dave. Uh, just the, the power of those shots, the viciousness behind them. She goes into the corner. Nobody home. Kelly comes out. Running Bulldog. That's her move. She's won many matches with that. And this one can also go in the win column for Kelly Couture. Wow, what a win. What a match. And Oh, wow. Look, you know, I think she's hurt. I'm, I'm going to go up and help her. You sit down. Stay there. Sit down. I... What are you, why are you, stop, what are you doing? Look, she's, she's, she's rolling around. She's, she's waiting for me. And, and, and Kelly and, Couture with a huge victory here on BSE Pro Wrestling, defeating Miss Dania. The crowd very happy to see Kelly Couture with a victory here today. The crowd's not the only one. What a beautiful exhibit of athleticism, sportsmanship, and... Well, you know what? Here's what's going to happen here. We're going to go ahead and meet with our bosses and see if Bob is still employed by the company. And when we come back, we're going to see the main event, a tag team match featuring James Champagne and his tag team partner, we don't know who it is, against Frankie the Mobster. And who knows? Welcome back to BSE Pro Wrestling as we are getting ready for the incredible tag team. Hey, 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 why are you cutting off the the introduction of James Champagne? Introducing first, hailing from Mount Olympus, Ontario, weighing in at 243 pounds, he's cage-free, far fresh, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. I saw him do it. And my tag team partner from the Cobra Kai Dojo in Cobra Kai Bill in Cobra Kai Land, Cobra Kai. No kidding. Wow, what a partner. James that pays. He's showing the respect that he deserves. He's a black belt, 47 different disciplines. 47 different disciplines. I, uh, a full studio audience getting right on the case of James Champagne. You know, Cobra Kai knows 47 dips. It's only two more than James Champagne. Exactly. See, finally, Art had earned his paycheck telling these people that whatever they're saying about James Champagne, it's not true. We can talk over Frankie the Monster Pro. Well, hang on a second. Here comes the lunatic now. That guy's insane. Now, you might be wondering why, oh, why is Frankie the Monster have such an issue with James Champagne? If you remember a couple of weeks back, 
James Champagne just went on a tirade about French people, French-speaking people, and Quebec, which happens to be the home of Frankie the Monster, and he took exception to it. So now James Champagne has to pay the price. He has to pay the piper. He has to pay the mobster. Why does he have to pay anything? Hey, James Champagne invented Quebec. He has every right to badmouth it. Well, he can have anything to do with it. Now, I wonder, I wonder who Frankie the Monster has as his tag team partner. Who would want to team up with this lunatic? Why? He's probably got nobody. He's probably got the voices in his head. Oh my goodness! Chris Chambers! He's accepted the, uh, I guess, the offer to tag up with Frankie the Mobster. Well, evidently Frankie gave him an offer he couldn't refuse because I don't see why Chris Chambers would want to associate himself with this crazy man. Oh. He has done it. Now he's got to face James Champagne, the Vanilla Killer, and Cobra Kai, master of 47 disciplines, according to James Champagne. Hey, I, again, I, I think he's got the certificates on all the walls of his dojo. You know, karate, kung fu, ninjutsu, Keep going. Suzuki. Keep, what? Yeah, that's uh, one that's not known to many people. It's, it's secret. I, uh, I, I assume that you're one of the few people who knows it. Are you kidding me, Dave? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Anyway, back to this match. Well, I, again, I still understand why Chambers would want to have any part with why Chambers want any part of Frankie the Mobster. I mean, and why would you want to incur the wrath of Cobra Kai and and, and the genius James Champagne? Genius. Well, he's certified genius. Absolutely. I asked him. He said he 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 passed Mensa. I think he actually founded Mensa, the organization for geniuses. Frankie and Chambers now. Let's see how these guys work together. It should be very, very interesting. As Cobra Kai set to start things off for his team against, by the looks of it, Frankie the Mobster. Well, you want to talk about nuttiness. Cobra Kai might be the one guy who can go crazy for crazy against Frankie the Mobster. Oh. Frankie leading on the studio audience. To get into the head of uh, James Champagne. Be interesting to see if uh, Chris Chambers and Cobra Kai lock things up. We know that the two of them have a history. We've seen them battle in uh, six man suicide six pack championship matches, in qualifying matches. We've seen them battle one on one. They've had their issues, and I'm sure that, that there's still unfinished business there for sure. It's Cobra Kai locking up and pushing Frankie the Mobster into the corner. Are we going to get a clean break here? Well, well, look at that. He tried to go for the arm. What are you talking about? I, Frankie the Mobster wouldn't let go. Of course he won't see a clean break from this guy. The guy's the guy's a monster, Dave. He's a criminal by definite. Oh! oh and disgustingly spits right in the face of Cobra Kai. Whip into the ropes now. Big shoulder block. Frankie sends down Cobra Kai. Huge leapfrog over the big man. Looking to scoop him up and no one home. Big clothesline. Side headlock, Frankie the Mobster drags him over, and in comes Chris Chambers. I don't think Cobra Kai wants anything to do with him. Well, Frankie leading the, the crowd like an orchestra, the guy's insane. And it, Well, Chris Chambers, they said the history of him and Cobra Kai is well storied, well documented. And Cobra Kai, look at that. See that? that uh, oh, how did he find a defense oh. for that? That was, that was from Discipline 36. Chambers now with a big flying elbow. Reverse elbow gets a good piece of Cobra Kai. And a kick out by the master of the 47 disciplines. Side headlock again by Chambers. Cobra Kai trying to get out of that headlock. So he just muscles Chris Chambers into the corner. 